does that even mean, Bowers Game Corner? Oh, hi there, YouTube. I'm back again today for another game review, another special Kickstarter review. And today I'm very excited to be checking out Too Many Cinderella's from Grail Games. This is for two to four players, ages teens to seniors, as they put it. It'll take you about ten minutes to play. And in Too Many Cinderella's, the prince kissed his beautiful Cinderella's last night. But unfortunately, for one reason or another, he doesn't remember who it is. So now everyone in the kingdom is trying to get their, you know, their candidate to be the Cinderella by spreading all these different rumors and trying to eliminate other uh, candidates for who is Cinderella. Sound intriguing? It's a micro game. Is it good though? Let's open up and see how it works. All right, we're going to take a look at what you're going to get inside of Too Many Cinderella's. Now, as I always like to mention, this is the promotional copy I have in front of me, so take what is here with a grain of salt. In fact, this is actually the Japanese copy I have in front of me, so they might change artwork or different components. Who knows? So first and foremost, we've got our handy-dandy rule sheet, which is, oh my gosh, it's in Japanese. But luckily, we have this one as well. <laughs> this is two pages, double-sided. Uh, it is a very well-done rule sheet. It's a very, very simple game, and the rule sheet is likewise very similar. Uh, once you know how to play this game, you'll probably never need it again because the game is is that simple. So in this game, what you're going to be doing is you are going to be trying to persuade the prince on who he kissed last night because the prince kissed Cinderella last night. He is madly in love, but unfortunately he might have had a drink or two or three or four. Uh, and you're going to be trying to convince him who he kissed last night. You're going to be doing this by playing rumors uh, that will do various different things. So for instance, if someone played this rumor, that would mean Cinderella was not blonde or she was not someone wearing glasses or she was not a senior. There's going to be various different attributes that you were going to rule out when you play cards. And then uh, what's going to happen is each person is going to play two cards and there's going to be some mystery rumors, some random rumors that are going to be spread around. And then whoever has uh, the lowest number, which are up here in the corner, and we'll get more into this, how this all works in a, in a second, whoever has the lowest number and meets all the criteria that are out, all the rumors that are out, is going to be the winner of that round and you'll play to a certain number of points. Let's get into the components, Let's then let's get into the gameplay, because it's just going to be simpler to show you how to play this game. So, first and foremost, you're going to get 18 of these Cinderella cards. They will range from the really old, to the really young, to the, uh, to the overweight, to the skinny, to the man. Uh, there's some men in here, there's some women, there's just a teenage boy, as weird as that sounds. Uh, so they're going to be range very wildly. Um, so those are the Cinderella's in there, you're going to get 18 of them. Then you're going to get these no and OK tokens, which I just dropped, so you will forget about that one. These no and OK tokens. Now these are what you're going to use if you don't like a rumor that was spread. So let's, let's say, for instance, uh, someone played this not a beer drinker one out there. What everyone's going to do is they're going to take these and they're going to decide which one they want to play. OK means you're OK. Fine, Cinderella's not a beer drinker. I don't care. I don't have any beer drinkers in my hand. Well, except for that one right there. Let's say, well, but these two aren't beer drinkers, so you know what? I'm fine with that. I might play her okay. Or I might play a no and say, no, that can't happen. She's a beer drinker, or she has the potential to be a beer drinker. But everyone's going to secretly look at those, and then they're going to reveal it at the same time. And if it's a no, then that is going to uh, cancel out that card. However, if everyone says okay, then now... Uh, Cinderella will not be someone who is a beer drinker. But let's just get into a little bit of mock hand so you can see exactly what I'm talking about here. So let's look at my hand right here. I got a 5, a 9, a 16, and an 11. Because as I mentioned, at the end of the game, whoever has the lowest number that meets all the criteria that's going to be set out on the board is going to be the winner. So let's see. we got a senior, a teen, young, young. Well, let's, what's really important is down here. What are we going to potentially eliminate? So not a senior. We have a senior, so I don't want to play that. Uh, not a blonde. Do I have any blondes? Oh yeah, I have two blondes, so I definitely don't want to play that one. Um, let's see, not wearing glasses. You know what? That one has potential. So I might, I would probably play that one because it says not wearing glasses and none of the people in my hand have glasses, so I'd play that one out on the table. So what's going to happen is everyone else is going to look at their cards and decide whether or not they are okay with the, the Cinderella not having glasses. As I mentioned, they're going to pick out their okay or their no, and they're going to secretly put it right here, and then everyone's going to reveal at the same time. So we'll just say everyone was okay with Cinderella not having glasses. 
So we'll move on to the next player. Uh, and they are going to look at their hand. And let's see what they got going on here. They got this. They, oh, man, they have... They have a couple people with glasses, so they probably wouldn't have let that go, but who cares. So we're going to go, we'll go with, uh, she's got to get rid of this, this one with glasses. And see, here she has not 18, and she's got a young, or she's got a, a young, a senior, an adult. So she's fine if this goes through. So she's going to play not a teen. So now everyone's going to repeat and do the same thing and say, oh, okay, or no, on whether or not Cinderella is a teen. And I'd say, you know what? I really like this teenage boy. I think he might win me the game. So I would then say, no! And everyone would reveal and say, oh, no, he picked no. So that means uh, that, in fact, the Cinderella could be 18. But here's the thing, I have now lost my no chip, which means I essentially can't vote. You don't get your no chip back. Uh, so now you are at the whim of whatever anyone plays. So for instance, somebody else might come over here and play not, uh, not uh, black hair, dark brown hair. So not dark brown hair. And even if I didn't want that to go through, I have no choice because I've already played my no card. But anyway, everybody's continued to play out two cards until everyone has two cards left. And I missed dealt that, so let's just do it real quick right here. So everyone played out their two cards, and we'd have various different no's and okay's all spread around the board. And then one random card is going to come out. Uh, so not a dude, so a dude couldn't win it. And then we're going to take a look at who has the lowest number that met all of the criteria that's still on the board. So, for instance, if we did this one, it could not be a senior. They would all be eliminated. It could, uh, well, that was a bad example. Uh, it could not be a dude. That person cannot win. It cannot be numbers 1, 2, 3, or 4. So that those low numbers are no longer useful. It cannot have, that person cannot have glasses. And if you meet all those criteria, then you will be the winner of the round, assuming you have the lowest number. Now, one thing I do want to mention before I bow out is that some of these have special unique abilities. I believe there's three or four of them. So, for instance, you saw the not 1, 2, 3, 4. This one's not 16, 17, or 18. This one is really cool. It allows you to remove a no chip from uh, a card, which is a really good ability. Uh, and this one is going to allow you to put a no chip on a card, and there is going to be one additional gray no chip, which will be out for, for when this card gets played. So you'll be able to block something, even if it's already gone through the vote. And uh, that, in a nutshell, is how Too Many Cinderella's is played. Alrighty then, Too Many Cinderella's from Grail Games, one of my final thoughts. Let's go to the pros, let's go over the cons. First on the con side of the game is not going to be for everybody for a couple different reasons. First and obviously, this is a micro game. So if you're not in the market for a micro game, this one's not going to be for you. Also, this is one of those games where we're going to do the same thing over and over and over and over and over again. There's not too many different paths to victory either, which is not going to be for everybody. There are 18 cards, and I believe in a typical game you're going to play with 17 of them in a four-player game. So pretty much by the second time you play the game, you're going to see everything this game's gotten, even though each game is going to play differently based on what cards you play and how people vote and all that different things. Uh, last but not least, if you're offended by you know alcohol or wine references or, or homosexuality reference, there are some subtle ones in this game that blah 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 if that's you then eh, who cares uh anywho moving on to the pros i am a big fan of this game and the obvious question is where does this rank with other micro games and i absolutely would put this up there with them for a couple different reasons it, it will be going on my shelf in my micro game collection it's not going to bump anything out because all the games are so small but i absolutely would bust this out over love letter in different situations first and foremost I think this might be one of the better two-player micro games I've played in quite some time. I, I did enjoy it quite a bit with two players. I think it's better with three and four players, but me and my wife definitely enjoyed it with two players. Uh, also, the humor. I really enjoyed the humor in this game. And it's not like, you know, in-your-face kind of humor. It's just, it's just funny. Like, 18's a cat. And I think 17's like an old man. And there's a cross-dresser in there who's got like a little bit of stubble here and there. And I liked that humor an awful lot. It went across really, really well. A little bit of humor went across uh, a long way, is what I'm trying to say there. Also, I like the gameplay. I, I really enjoy the gameplay. It reminded me of, a, what was that, a Guess Who, where it would be like, does your guy have glasses, and you do this, and you do that. Except, obviously, it's much different than that, but it reminded me of that old game, which was a good feeling. I also like the voting system a lot. I like the no and the okay, because it really is important when you play that no. If you have to play that no in the first round, then you were just completely at the whim of whatever the rest of the rumors do. Uh, I also like the random card at the end, which I know is going to be uh, 
a turnoff to some people, but I liked it an awful lot because it just completely shook up the game sometimes, and it completely, it, it definitely changes the atmosphere of who Cinderella was. Overall, really big fan of Too Many Cinderella's. If you're in the market for a micro game, back this. It's as simple as that. If you might be in the market for a micro game, check it out. Highly recommended. One thing I do want to mention, though, as a caveat, as an asterisk, Caveat? Caveat? I don't know what it's called. Uh, as an asterisk to this, is I'm not sure if the artwork is going to remain the same or not. Uh, because as I mentioned, this is the Japanese version of the game. And actually, the Board Game Geek page has a little bit different style of artwork as their title. So I'm not sure what they're getting rid of or what they're keeping. So just pay attention to the Kickstarter for that. But overall, highly recommended. Really enjoyed it. Good humor. Good gameplay. Great little micro game. Check it out. Uh, this looks like it might be your cup of tea. Be sure to click on the Kickstarter link below. Also, in the comments below, let me know. Pancakes or waffles and why? And, uh, as always, if you enjoyed this content, please be sure to click on the subscribe button. I missed. Thanks for your time, YouTube. That was a review for Too Many Cinderella's. For more reviews and previews, check back at Bowers Game Corner.